Welcome back to Camera West TV. I'm Carlo, and today we have the M11. We're here today in Marin County at the Marin County Civic Center, famously designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. And we're gonna take the M11, put it to the test, and see what kind of images we can make with its beautiful architecture, amazing design, and stunning colors. One of the first things you're going to notice when you pick up the M11 is that it's noticeably lighter. The black version is 20% lighter than the silver version, and that's because this one was designed with a aluminum top plate whereas the silver is designed with the classic brass. The silver has that nice silver chrome finish and the black features a new type of finish where it's said to be more scratch resistant and durable. Cosmetically, there were a few changes to the M11. Most notably is no base plate. Now we have a quick access point for our battery just like the SL2 and the Q2. And the cool thing is that it's a whole new design for the battery where it doubles as a cover for your SD card and now you have quick access to your SD. Another notable change is this USB-C port. So now you can plug it into any Apple device. You can charge it directly from your computer, your wall, a power bank. Another feature that's different is the top function button. You used to have a button right here, but they moved it up here for convenience and it's also customizable. The rear display matches more of the Q2 SL2 system and you notice that now the screen doesn't extend as far as it used to. It's more seamlessly integrated into the back. So after 60 years of the Leica M, this is the first M system to not have a base plate. And what does that mean for many M shooters. That means no more fumbling with your camera. That means no more dropping your base plate. And that means quick and easy access whenever you need it. So however you may take it, it's a great improvement or- Or you can just get an M10. <laughs> or you can just get an M10. With this iteration of the M system, Leica is definitely looking to the future while keeping its heritage intact. Damn, this camera is really light. I like it. Welcome to my crib. The multi-field metering has been super helpful in the, in the range finder, something that wasn't available in previous ends. So in difficult lighting situations like this, I can just shoot with no problem. And it kind of gives me a happy medium of lights and darks. The M11 features a new multi-resolution BSI CMOS sensor with triple resolution technology. Advantages to the sensor are better noise reduction, more light reach to the sensor, faster read rates, and can provide higher resolution. This new triple resolution technology allows you to record images in large DNG, medium DNG, and small DNG. The large DNG, you get 14 stops of dynamic range and better detail, and that's at a full 60 megapixels. The medium DNG is 36 megapixels with 15 stops of dynamic range, and that's better for your performance ratio. And the small DNG is a whopping 18 megapixels, and that gives you 15 stops of dynamic range. This new sensor paired with the advanced algorithm of the Maestro 3 processor ensures that all of your photos have 14-bit color depth at all resolutions. Another new addition to the M11 is digital zoom. This two-step zoom allows you to crop into your images at 1.3 times magnification and 1.8 times magnification. This crop is reversible on DNG files, but not on JPEG files. All right, that's a wrap on this location. Let's go to the next. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, 
private door. So we've switched locations. We're at the base of Mount Tam because actual Mount Tam is closed, but that's not gonna stop us from photographing this epic scenery. And we're really gonna put this dynamic range of the M11 to the test. This digital crop feature is coming in real handy. I don't think I've seen a rainbow this close in a long time. Hey, there's a swing over there. For our friends that love to shoot Kodachrome, there is a nod to it with ISO 64. That is the new native ISO for the M11. ISO 64 is perfect for rich colors and low noise. And for those of you that love using M lenses wide open in bright daylight, the M11 features an electronic shutter alongside a mechanical shutter, allowing you to photograph at much faster shutter speeds. You know, I think that this digital crop feature is a game changer for most M's. I know it's been a feature that was implemented with the Q, but on this system, being able to switch at any focal length that you want, it's pretty impressive that now you can truly have a one camera, one lens setup, and feel comfortable about whatever you're gonna photograph for the day. It's truly amazing that you can turn a 90 into you know, it's respective equivalent for what it is. I don't know the math off the top of my head. It's too cold to, to think about that right now, but it's safe to say that the way that it digitally crops on this larger sensor is gonna blow every photographer's mind. We just wrapped up on a full day of shooting. We went to Marin County Civic Center, got some pretty cool photos, and then we didn't get to go all the way up Mount Tam, but at least we got to see this beautiful vantage point off to the side. I think that this camera is totally gonna blow a lot of people's expectations out of the water. I truly think that this camera is going to pave a new road for Leica in the future and the future of the M system. It's completely different from any of its predecessors and I can't wait to see how they further develop this type of technology and system. I think it'll be cool to see it grow and evolve and really keep true to its Leica heritage. This is Carlo from Camera West TV. I'll see you next time.